PUBG is massively popular right now and it's easy to see why. Who doesn't enjoy shooting strangers right in the bumhole as they're desperately trying to crawl away from you? And now you can perforate their sphincters on the bus, in the garden and wherever you roam thanks to the humble smartphone and a bit of PUBG mobile. The mobile version of PUBG offers scalable graphics and all kinds of toggles so it does tend to run quite well even on quite low end affordable smartphones but some budget blowers do really struggle to keep up a dependable frame rate. And that is the last thing you need in a fast paced action game like PUBG mobile where swift reactions are all that stands between you and an early bath. I've been testing PUBG on a range of cheaper mobile phones to see which ones work the best and here's my pick of my favourites between around the sort of £200 to around the £400 price point here in the UK. And don't forget for more on PUBG mobile, gaming smartphones and loads of other mobile tech to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now if you're serious about your PUBG but money is really tight, we'd highly recommend the Honor 8X for just 230 quid. The 8X is one of the best budget phones of 2018 period and one of the reasons is its surprising gaming prowess. Huawei's own Kirin 710 chipset backed by 4 gigs of RAM provides enough grunt to keep PUBG running well at low to medium detail settings even throughout a full half hour game. However, a large part of the plaudits have to go to Huawei's own GPU turbo feature. This basically regulates the performance of support devices such as the Honor 8X in order to prioritise the game and keep a nice smooth frame rate throughout. And this works impressively well given a consistent performance for games like PUBG Mobile. Go check out my full benchmark review and explainer video on GPU Turbo for all you need to know on that shenanigans. On top of GPU Turbo you also get Huawei's Game Suite app which provides some handy bonus features when you're gaming. The ability to block notifications automatically is a godsend although we still had to knock off those pesky Facebook Messenger icons. And with this mighty 3750 milliamp battery you'll keep on gaming for hours with PUBG Mobile and the game looks great on the Honor 8X's friggin huge 6.5 inch Full HD Plus display. Another great gaming phone that costs under 300 quid is the Honor Play which is yours for just £280. For that jump in price you get the more powerful Kirin 970 chipset which means you can play PUBG on higher detail settings. You once again have GPU Turbo to regulate the frame rates and keep everything smoother than a buttered up Barry White. And Game Suite is of course back in action too. On top of all that there's even a rumble feature which makes the Honor Play vibrate whenever there's gunfire or explosions nearby. It's quite subtle though and it doesn't really add anything to the overall PUBG mobile experience. You still get a King Kong sized screen at 6.3 inches with Full HD Plus visuals providing a detailed view of the battleground. And battery life is near identical with another 3750 milliamp cells stuffed inside the play. Another fantastic gaming phone that's as cheap as pre-Brexit chips is the Pocophone F1. You can pick this up for 329 quid here in the UK or even cheaper if you scout about a bit. The Pocket Phone impressively boasts the same Snapdragon 845 chipset as expensive mobiles like the Pixel 3 despite that budget cost and here it's backed by either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM for silky smooth performance. As you'd expect PUBG runs like a dream so you won't be done in by troublesome stammers while you're capping fools online. Battery life is even better than the Honor thanks to the mighty 4000 milliamp cells stuffed inside the Poco phone. And there's also impressively a liquid cooling system to keep the Poco from overheating during those lengthy gaming sessions. No complaints either with that 6 inch Full HD Plus display. It's not quite as spacious as the Honor's but it's still more than big enough to see any cheeky buggers creeping up on you. Sadly there's no dedicated gaming mode though beyond a performance boost feature that frankly isn't really needed, at least not right now. Now Motorola is still the big daddy of the budget blower world and the Moto G6 Plus remains one of our favourite affordable phones from 2018, although its gaming skills are rather limited. Just 250 British pounds bags you this stock Android smartphone which just about keeps up with PUBG. That Full HD Plus 5.93 inch display is crisp and colourful, although the Snapdragon 630's performance isn't quite as slick as with the other devices here. You'll get a dependable enough frame rate on low graphics but that's about it. Battery life isn't quite as long either with a 3200 milliamp cell on board. If you can stretch to over 300 quid the Nokia 7 Plus is still a solid purchase. Again you get stock Android experience but this time the Snapdragon 660 is on board for better of performance. You can play PUBG on those sort of medium detail settings with a solid frame rate, no worries. That 6 inch Full HD Plus screen is stunning at this price point, definitely a great way to enjoy all that blood spatter. And battery life is bloody brilliant too thanks to the vanilla Android system and that 3800 milliamp cell. Last on our list is another dedicated gaming smartphone. The Black Shark has just hit the UK, boasting some impressive specs for the low price of just £439. And even better if you grab it during the Christmas sale, that's reduced even further to just £359 quid, which frankly is an absolute bargain. Like the Pocophone you get Qualcomm's beastly Snapdragon 845 chipset on board backed by up to 8GB of RAM. So unsurprisingly PUBG runs like Usain Bolt with an angry tiger on his ass. 
The Black Shark never gets toasty either thanks to the effect of liquid cooling. You also get a dedicated gaming mode activated with a flick of a side switch to block notifications and manage your resources. As for battery life, that 4000mAh cell will get you through several PUBG tournaments no problem before the phone finally capitulates. However, the killer feature of the Black Shock is definitely the bundle controller, which slips neatly onto the side and offers proper physical controls. This makes a serious difference in fast-paced games like PUBG, and there's no fiddly setup needed either. Go check out my full Black Phone review right here on Techspert for all you need to know. And that right there is my full roundup of some of the best budget gaming phones that you can play a bit of PUBG Mobile on right now. If I missed out your favourites, don't worry, I probably just haven't got around to test them just yet. Just definitely let us know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you!